Hello everybody. So in today's lecture, we're gonna explore the advanced custom fields plugin a uh, little bit more, and uh, we will know we will learn about some more fields and some more ways to play with the advanced custom field. So let's just jump uh, on the ACF field plugin settings, field groups, and I'm gonna click on edit button now. And in the previous video, we just created a simple input field of ACF that is uh, the text field for subtitle, for title, and then for button URL, button text, and then for button URL. And we also learned about a repeater field. Okay. So uh, if I just jump to our home page, as you can see, just assume that if we uh, if we are finished with creating all the ACF input fields of our home page, I mean, as you can see, the home page is too long, and we might have to create a large number of ACF fields, and that probably is not a good idea to display all those fields uh, in a different row on page edit option to our client or to any. Uh, non-technical person who is going to use the WordPress admin dashboard. So today I'm going to create some more input fields of ACF, but in a more organized way. Okay, so let's just delete all those for now. Okay, delete everything. We don't need that. We don't need that. Okay. And delete this one. Okay, so we are going to. Uh, present the ACF input field to our non-technical clients for home page in tabs form. Okay, just like we have different tabs like this one, this is. Okay, so we are gonna present the all of the AC field in a tab way. Like uh, the first section of our home page is banner. So let's just create first tab and we should call uh, it as banner. So how you can do that? First, you need to create a tab name, for example, banner area. Okay, that's it. And then you need to change the field type and there's a input field type of tab. Okay, in may see a pro version. Okay, that's for the pro version, not uh, in the free version. So you must have the pro version here. And then I'm gonna copy this one, I mean the field label. And after that, I have to create another input field which should be named as uh, which should be the layout i mean the, the group input field type that's also available for acf pro versions okay and inside that group of course as you can see now we have one tab input field and one group uh, acf field sorry it's not an input field it's a uh, acf simple layout field uh, layout input field and in our group ACF field, we can now uh, add our ACF input field that we are going to uh, display in our home page and to get some input from our client and then display it here. OK, so just like previously, we created a subtitle field. And then we created another field named it as title. Then we created another field, named it as button text. And then we created another field and named it as button URL. Okay. And of course, this field type should be URL. Okay. And now I'm going to select the layout as row. You can select block or table, whatever you prefer. That's totally fine. I personally like the row layout. I mean, that looks really cool. And I'm going to close this one now and click on save changes. So before jumping to our home page, uh, the, the edit page of our home uh, home page, uh, let's just create another tab and another group so that we can just uh, and later on, we can see everything in a perfect way. So let's just call the second section as services section okay, or just services services and copy this one and because that's going to be I mean the first one is going always going to be a tab 
and the second one is going to be our group okay and inside group we need to have what we need to have okay that's it we need to have a repeater field for for a box which will be repeated to a while loop and then will be displayed multiple number of groups on the front end okay so let's just create first one we should name it as title or you can say the uh, box title whatever you prefer that's okay fine and then we need to create another field name it as description and it should be a text area then another that should be link okay make it as url and then again i'm gonna make it as row okay oh sorry i'm gonna remove all of those because i haven't created the repeated field yet let's just create a repeater field first name it as anything like service it should be a repeater field and inside your repeater field we now have to create our all of those three subfields which should be title description and then we need to have another field which should be link or url or whatever you say and then we need to uh, change the layout as a row and click on save changes now okay so now let's just jump to our home page refresh it as you can see now now there is a banner area and another uh, tab that is service whenever i click on edit service we have another service and then we can have another service then we, of course we can have another service so basically uh, as you can see the acf fields are presented here so beautifully i mean the client won't get distracted or it or they won't be confused that uh, how they can edit the fields because we are now naming our tabs by the name of their sections for example uh, this section can be a discount section this kind of section is our services section and this is the gallery section and so forth so and so forth okay so this is uh, i mean i personally prefer this is looks really cool okay let's just make one more change which is inside our repeater field for our description i didn't change the field type which should be our text area and click on save changes Setting data I am going too fast. Maybe for a beginner, I am navigating too fast. That's totally fine. You just have to fill your input fields, and then our URL for the link of the button. That's it. So as now we have created group fields i mean the acf group fields and inside our group field we have some sub fields and inside our a second group field we have now repeater and inside repeater we have our sub fields okay so we are going to make a little bit of changes in our code so let's just jump here okay for now i'm just going to close this one and let's just focus on our banner area
comment this one so that we don't uh, see an error in the front end. Perfect. So yeah, first let's just start our PHP tag and then inside our PHP tag, I want to have a an if condition and right after our closing uh, tag of section we need to end that if condition and inside our if condition let's just uh, fetch yes so inside our uh, if condition let's just fetch the group of our i mean of our ac field which is the the first group is here uh here is that is banner area we are going to target always going to target the group group uh and not the tab tabs are just for the basic representation of our ac fields in inside our wp admin so we just need to focus on this group field that is banner area so let's just jump into the code so here we are gonna first check if there are any fields available inside our banner area if not we can just display any error message that uh, or maybe maybe uh, there are some chances that we, we don't even display this whole area because we don't have any data about that uh, section which is the banner section so that's why i just uh, for, for a safety or for a security reason i just read it uh, and if condition if we don't add that that's totally fine okay so inside our group field which is this one now let's just open this one and see what else do we have inside it inside the group area we have now our different subfields these are not fields these are subfields so we just need to change those functions get the subfield and before the get we need to uh, write the echo okay there's subtitle title button url button text let's just make sure everything is all the same okay perfect so let's just come here and refresh it i don't know if everything is okay or there might be some errors let's just uh check it yep there is an error get the field okay oh this is not the get, get the field this is get subfield function okay I just wrote it okay so we now have something here i don't know what's that Oh, okay okay we have a group field so of course for group field first we need to have we need to have a function here which is have underscore rows if you remember in the last video we have learned about that uh, function and right after that i mean here we need to have a while loop here And inside that we need to insert our group area name and here I'm gonna close my while loop okay that's it banner area and yeah. so let's just come here and refresh this now oh okay okay I just missed one thing which is if you remember in the last video again we missed this one the row function okay perfect 
yeah everything is working perfectly now okay it it's uh displaying as it was in our last last lecture the main thing that we will learn today in this lecture is how to uh, present your acf fields in our wp admin area in a in a perfect way or in a professional way so that your client will never get confused about which section is he going to update or what or, or which field is he going to work on okay so it's now clearly says that this section this tab is banner area and this is his services area perfect and um, following that uh, way you can create all of the sections of your page i mean for now i just created first section of our home page but of course we can create the second page and then the third page of course the coding is going to be same the uh, if conditions or the while loops everything is going to be same except we just created uh, a tab here which is this one first we created a tab and then we created a group area which have which shares the same name as our tab so so that these group uh, fields are going to be displayed under that tab okay just always make sure that these both names should be same i mean the tab and the group and then the next tab and then the next group they should be same again so that's it for now uh, we will learn about acf in our next videos thank you bye bye if you have any questions please leave a comment